I believe it was the great American philosopher, David Lee Roth, who once said, Jump back, what's that sound? Here she comes, full blast and top down. Hot shoe, burning down the avenue. Model citizen, zero discipline. Why, that sounds like these two fools. This is Dave and Juan. <laughs> What up? You, man. You. It's <laughs> just barely. Just barely. <laughs> All right, let's get the obligatory stuff out of the way. Hello, everybody. I'm Dave. I'm Juan. And this is Dave and Juan. More time. There you go. Might even get some applause on that. <laughs> don't, try to over, don't try to overdo it. Like back in the radio days, I used to ride that yeah, applause yeah. button, man. It's like That's it, man. That's what the buttons were for. Yeah, when you're doing a show by yourself, you're just trying to make it sound like there's somebody in there. Hey. Yeah. And you could always you wouldn't believe how many times back in the day, people, uh, it, it, stunning people would say, how many people you got in that studio? <laughs> how big is that? Are you in a, you're in a arena? I hear people clapping. I hear. Yeah. 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 Cheers. You yeah. Know. No, I hear. Oh, God. oh, man. Listen, it's so funny now to look back now with all the technology we have, uh, some of the things we used to, um, we used to, it was darn near making sound effects ourselves back in the day. And yeah. I just, okay, I need, I can remember doing that. I can remember getting several people together just to clap, you know, yeah. just to have oh, that yeah. recorded. Yeah, and, Do you remember you know, the sound effect records? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Good. The, good. I think I still have a few of them somewhere that I stole from probably school. Good stuff, man. It's, um, the, it's theater of the mind. Yeah, and depending on how good your mind is, you know, it has a big impact go. on how good the theater is. There you go. There you go. Yeah, but uh, I was thinking about uh, thinking about the old days yesterday having flashbacks. We were um, first time in 14 months. Uh, got to actually be in a room yeah. with other people, man. Yeah, you're back on the road. Huh? You're well, back, it's slowly. So yeah, yeah, no flight on this one, but uh, uh, up in uh, Waco, so I drove up there, which was uh, cool. But uh, yeah, for, for first time in a while, I got to get up on a, It was really funny too, uh, on a stage with uh, I guess there's like a hundred, hundred something people there. But you know, yeah. normal. Now you totally. want to explain what you do for people who don't know? Nope. All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gave it a shot, folks. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, I just I, uh, I don't really know either. But yeah, so. yeah, myself, you know, that's sort of the goal. The goal is you show up, and they're like, you know, I. I joke. I have joked with um with a lot of a lot, a lot of. I work with a lot of banks. I do do do, this, do uh, financial various things, consulting and stuff. But a lot of a lot of public speaking stuff. And um, yeah, it's one of my running jokes is I've made a career of setting a very low bar and barely getting over it. <laughs> 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 That's um. But no, it's fun. It's fun. Um, yeah, when uh, I was doing public relations, I would tell people, you know, I said I basically turned a character flaw into a career you know my ability to be my way around anything listen that's what it's about you just kind of yeah. figure things out as you go we talked about this before with our uh with our youngins yeah we put the pressure yeah. on what you gonna do what you gonna do what you gonna do and a lot of parents that are asking that they don't know what they want to do yeah right? they just yeah, sort of trying to figure it out and it, not that that's a bad thing but yeah exactly it's accidental i was i always kid with people about accidental careers um you know it only makes sense looking back yeah. right it only makes sense you think oh well, if I wouldn't have got that, if I would have got that, I never would have got that. And if I did, you know, just how it is. But um, yeah, it was good. It was, it was um, it's funny because it's something, you know, you've done hundreds of times, but literally it's like, I like, man, don't trip getting up on the stage. Don't, uh, you know, I frankly got up there. It's like, yeah, you think whatever lines you're opening, you know, and I, and I, I get up there and I just, you know, I got real with them. I, said, I just, y'all just got to give me a minute here to uh, take this in. <laughs> Faces it, like cause, naked faces. Because it's been a minute. Oh yeah, it was a hundred. You know, it was a little a hundred something people. Really nice, uh, really nice facility. Great, great bunch of folks. But yeah, you could see faces. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Smiles. They laugh. Oh, yeah. you know. Then you always start. I always start off talking about you know, explaining, depending on where I am, the accent. Because 
you know, that was a time that, uh, uh, you know, You've got an accent. Yeah, really. Right. Yeah. That was the biggest compliment you could get back in the day in radio was when people would ask you where you're from. Yeah. You don't have to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I um, but I, I, I talk, I tell them about, you know, I've been in Texas for you know 20 years or so, but I, you know, I have a family, I'm still back home. Mm -hmm. And I talk, I talk to my mom every night. Yeah. Shout out to mom. I actually said this yesterday on stage. I said, I'm not, I said, yeah. So look, I, I, I speak to my mom on the phone every night. So my accent is not, it's, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's, mm. it's getting, it's going to get stronger. And I said, uh, I said, my mom's accent makes mine sound British. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Right? But that's, yeah. but that's great. It's wonderful. That's, that's everybody. That's, um, but you're the same way, right? You. Oh yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you can, I'll talk to my parents and you know, the, it starts coming out or if I'm, hanging out with friends from the bayou it's you know it's like you never you never left it's and different language. i don't know yeah. that mine was ever super super flat um right compared right. to some but it it you know uh this I, don't know, I guess about a year or so ago we were donating i had a blood drive at work and i was donating blood and uh this girl started talking uh, a girl that was working on the little blood bus whatever you call that and so I just said, what's your name, Pierre Part? Uh, she said, what? What's your name, Pierre Part? The fact and she, she knew said, Pierre Part, okay. okay. Yeah, no, I you said, and she said, what do you mean? I said, you're either from Pierre Part or somewhere close to Pierre Part. So um, you're not fooling me with that. And she was, she was from Pierre Part. Oh, okay. That's, that's, yeah. uh, well, you know, but it's good. You, you, um, you, I don't say you miss it. I don't miss it because I'm still, uh, you know, swimming yeah. in it really but uh, yeah it's cool it, it's it's uh and it's a different uh, like i said it's almost a different language yeah uh, i've done I, voiceover work over the years um in a couple of different forms but probably more than anything is doing a cajun dialect well, and I mean, yeah getting paid to just go out there and talk. remember how to talk cage <laughs> that's right <laughs> it's like well shouldn't you say it like this is it nah no, nope. no man. that's no, why I go. No, no bro, yeah. no, bro. That's TV Cajun. That's TV. Oh, yeah. That's 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 Water Boy Cajun. That's yeah. Water Boy Cajun. Yeah, I I I uh, I've got that a lot over the years. Doing a lot of you know a lot of travel and and um, you'll say like, what do you think about the Water Boy? Here, here's the difference. Yeah, I got a, a sense of humor. I don't care. Yeah. Like you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> are you offended? No. Nah. Uh, yeah. It's you know, people from the area know that's not a. Those aren't authentic accents but it's, yeah it's funny whatever yeah that's the thing too it's like people you take a joke you know that's that's the uh that was the other thing too is uh, how many times over the years people just like you know um uh, yeah i know some coon asses or or like people that aren't supposed to be saying it sort of one of those you know like they call you you know they call you a coon ass well depends on who they are right yeah it, <laughs> right? the it's like yeah we we can do it it's it's heck i got a shirt my sister gave me i got i got i got one of the old shirts I should pull that on. If I'd have known we'd be talking about this, I'd, I'd have found it and put it on. But um, no, we did. I, a little side venture, I uh, have, you know, market Cajun themed t shirts. And this is years ago when I first started. I put just a message out there to some friends on Facebook um, saying, okay, I've got a shirt. I want a, a, a concept for a shirt, but it says Kunas on the shirt. And, you yeah. know, what's your thoughts on that? And, dude, it was like, you know, you just sworn I was asking about Colin Kaepernick and the NFL kneeling as far as how oh, polarizing it was. People are going back and forth at each other. Oh, no, no, even somebody said, yeah, I, I'm into you. You know, I never, I was never, I was never a fan. Even as a kid, I'd be like, I don't know that that's, especially the logo, <laughs> especially the most famous <laughs> RCA logo. I mean, that's literally like, yeah. you, you know, yeah. that's the shirt. Yeah. I got the shirt. I mean, that's part of probably why I don't wear it that much. Cause I mean, frankly, even though I have a sense of humor about it and obviously I'm yeah, it's it's like gross, it's, <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> like who designed that and said, you know, what we need? and let's make sure we get the butt really clear. Let's cause <laughs> we want to drive. Right it'd, be, it'd be too, uh, too subtle. If we just had <laughs> sort of the, the back end of a raccoon and right. said, no, you, you might not catch it. No, 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 no. You got to know. No, no. In fact, we're going <laughs> to, 
you know, gee whiz, you know, getting ready for a prostate exam on this, on this, uh, <laughs> literal art. On, the, on this raccoon. But, um, although I imagine it must be a female raccoon. If I've, if, 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 uh, I'm, I'm not looking that close. I got, well, you don't have to look that close with the shirt. I mean, it's, you know, it's like, it's not, uh, that, that shirt's pretty much anatomically correct. So All right, we'll I go got with a the female raccoon. I'm going to guess. I don't know. Uh, it's, <laughs> I can I can guarantee you when we started this about five minutes ago, I did not think this is where we were going with the uh, with the conversation. When I really you know, liked country music and started buying some country music, uh, place I used to work, we had a, a an anniversary event, um, and it was a gala, uh, and, a gala. You know, a private event, I guess, or ticketed event. Uh, and Tim McGraw played and it was right when he was just really going from, you know, up and coming guy yeah, yeah. to stepping up on the platform. So we He's, got to meet him and, you know, and all that stuff and faith was there and stuff. So, I, uh, I used to so love I started him. enjoying his music, but to yeah. be honest, he's what I call a performer because he doesn't write anything. Oh no, no. He just, Listen. Yeah. I, I, and part of the problem, and this is going to sound, uh, this is not political or anything, but what I think happens back in the day, the, the authentic country people, um, they played and, uh, man, they just never, they, it's like they never changed. Yeah. Right. They make so much money now, right. That they just, they change. Yeah. They, they, you know, Tim McGraw used to be like, it's all shucks, whatever. Now it's like, when I see him, I kind of like, ah, oh, you know, what, what yeah. you, yeah, he's what you pushing now, stuff. Tim, yeah. you know, and then, Hey, look, I mean, top of the list. Right. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not hit. Cause, cause I, I, I literally bought the dudes see, well, CDs back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Is anybody going crazier than Garth Brooks? Oh gosh. What was has the any, one? Has <laughs> anybody, I'm sorry, Chris Gaines. Has yeah. anybody, has anybody going? There's part of it. I think he retired. Oh yeah, gosh. When they he all, did. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because like, all right, man, I'm blowing this. Let me just get out of here for a while. Yeah, I mean, he. Um, I I remember it was just just timing. Uh, the first time I went to maybe the second time I went to New York. First time my wife and I went to New York, just coincided was Garth Brooks in Central Park. That was that oh, wow. was happening, and um, we had a hotel. Uh, I mean, it was the Hel it was at the Helm one of the Helmsleys. I still remember that one of the Helmsley Hotel. She was the famous lady that was all the really, shoes. Huh? Didn't she have all the shoes? No, no, that's you think I'm no, a, a male yeah. <laughs> That's a Filipino lady. <laughs> that's great. Uh, that's yeah, great. Helmsley. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, they oh, yeah. just blur. Yeah, Mel, that was a Mel de Marcos. No, Helmsley yeah. was um, I think she was famous for saying, and I'm I'm I may get this one wrong, like only little people pay taxes or something. She was criticized. She was one of these almost caricature type lady. She had dogs. I think she, when she died, she left most of her, you know, money to her dogs and stuff. And she had these hotel properties. And so they were supposed to be um, pretty nice and everything. But I remember that's when I first got my first experience with uh, a a New York, nice hotel and a normal, nice hotel are just not the same. uh, You know, you check in and, and 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 holiday in. No, no, I didn't. We pay. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, you, you, what, you know, and I can't even imagine what's going on right now, but, uh, it was uh, crazy expensive stuff, but did you I, steal I, a pillow? Yeah, I did not do that. Uh, we didn't, <laughs> we, that, 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 though, you probably wouldn't want to steal the pillows in that hotel. Lord, I mean, no, no, the way they ran things, those pillows may have been there when some of the time they opened that thing. I do remember, uh, going into these, these, into the bathrooms and they're old buildings, right? They're kind of fixed up, but yeah, guess what? The plumbing ain't fixed up. And I can remember whatever floor we're on. And I, you know, trying to wash my hands or take a shower. Anyway, water running, running, running. Where's the hot water? All right, where's the hot water? I'm telling my wife, I said, man, how what? It must be broken or something, right? So I end up calling, um, uh, you know, the, the hotel uh, the front, um, desk. front desk and, you know, send up somebody and said, what's wrong? So I got no hot water. Well, let me get up there. I'm thinking, what's he going to do? Dude comes up. I'm not making this up. He comes up. How you doing? He walks in. He... Yeah, that's hot. That's hot around here. That's, that's, that's. <laughs> Dude literally felt this, man, just, uh, just like three degrees above tepid water. And said, yeah, no, that's, that's, 
that's that's about as hot as it's gonna it's gonna get. And it's when you want to have one of those conversations. Of, well, let me tell you what hot is down yeah. south. Yeah, right? isn't it? You know, yeah. it just just just. But uh, yeah, Garth was there, and we were gonna go to the concert, and, and it ended up being. I was annoyed at the time, but it probably ended up being a good thing. So my, I don't know, ate something wrong or whatever. So my wife wasn't feeling good. The, 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 we were planning on going to the show. We we're there all week. All the signs are there, and it's a big thing. And literally the afternoon of, she she was not feeling well. And I'm like, you know, okay, I'm not. All right, I'm definitely not going by myself. I feel bad. So we end up watching the concert from the hotel room. So watching it on HBO, like it's kind of funny. I'm watching a concert <laughs> that's happening on the other side of these buildings right here. Did but, you run uh, out to see if you could catch the delay? No, no, no. I'm, uh, but I'm uh, glad that it, it didn't work out because apparently if you didn't get there early in the day, you were in the, these overflow fields oh, and yeah. stuff. So, so I'd have just been standing out with a bunch of other idiots watching it on a screen. Watching it on a screen. Yeah. So it, uh, yeah. Paying but to yeah. Watch TV. But yeah, now Garth, the Garth, uh, Gar Gar Garfield is the, the, the need to uh, share wisdom these days is, is what I, it's <laughs> what I find. It's like, you know, I'm going to sing you a song, but first, I'll let me tell you, you a little that. bit about life. <laughs> let me, let me slip some Garf nuggets for you. Okay? <laughs> you know, it was, was funny about uh, yesterday and I was saying return to normal. So I get to this, um, this, uh, it's, it's at a country club. Mm -hmm. That's where, that's where they did it. And it might be because that facility just sort of opened up and they let folks in. Yeah. And really, it's in uh, Waco uh, Ridgewood, I think it, it is. Um, beautiful. Just I, I didn't I, I didn't know what to expect, but man, shout out to Waco, gorgeous place, and um, this, this facility. So I walk in there and I'm early. You know, I, I had, I had it was about a three hour drive, but I wanted to give myself a lot of time. And so I get there, I, I got like two and a half hours to kill. Oh, wow. And I don't feel like going to find some you know, restaurant somewhere or whatever. And I said, I had eaten a little bit. So I just asked the, the young lady, you know, can I just hang out in the lounge area or whatever? And she's like, great. Well, you know, then do you have any coffee? It's real sweet. There's, I'm just going to get a cup of coffee. They had no coffee. She went make a pot of coffee. You know, just ran. It's just, I'm like, man, I love, I got to go join me a country club. If this is what <laughs> I love the way they treat you in a country club. So I, and so I end up sitting in this lobby and, um, you know, there's little tables and little fireplace. And I found the, you know, the table from far corner. I got my computer set up, cup of coffee, just got to get comfortable killing time, looking at nice view out the window. And these eight older ladies, and I'm saying the baby in the bunch wasn't a day under 70, maybe 75. Right. I mean, it was, but and they were, they were just, they were sweet as all get out. Eight of them playing bridge. Wow. And, and, uh, you know, I'm probably 20 feet away. So I can hear everything. And I got to tell you something. If you'd have told me a little over a year ago that one of the best hours I would spend and just enjoy was just hanging out by myself at a table, listening to eight ladies play bridge and just talk. And yeah. I was just like, oh, in man, public, this with the public in public. And oh, man, it's like, this is life. Look at this. Hey, yeah. get out of here. They're all talking and. And then the funny thing too was when it was all when it was talking about ordering lunch and one was complimenting the other one about it's so much easier to to uh to get lunch now that you you know you prearrange the menu before we get here and it's just so funny listening to the man a lot of details going to this bridge game <laughs> and and then but it's cute man I'm just sitting back there loving life just listening to this and it's the country uh, club crowd man yeah and then when they get when they get up to leave that these 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 eight ladies you know discussing the bill all sweet about it now what well, yours is it? I'm just laughing I said, man. That, that's a, that's a, that's a lady thing. Guys are, you know, I, I guess some guys are, but you know, it's most like, I ain't doing the math. I mean, yeah, just division. that's far, good enough. Uh, you know, uh, you know, women have shampoo, conditioner, this, 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 all these, you know, whatever men, men, <laughs> you know, men have, you know, you wash your hair, your face, your body and your dishes. With the same, <laughs> with the two, same. Yeah. I don't bathe with dish soap. Wash your car. Yeah, I don't yeah, think that back good. in the day, mom. Yeah. My, they used to. Mom and dad used to put a little. Or mom, I say mom and dad. I think my dad, my mom, a little squirt of uh, dishwashing liquid in the uh, in the bathtub. You ever do that? <laughs> that's your bubble bath, man. Yeah, the hundred percent. I thought that's what a bubble bath was. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, Clean it up while you're in there. You man. ain't lying, man. You yeah, know, bring, you bring the dishes in. Probably not great. Probably not great for your skin, but you're young. Hey, you're young. Yeah, oh. Palm olive, man. It's like totally you soak your nails in there. I don't know if it was palm olive or not. And then later on, it was Mr. Bubble. Yeah, pink bottle. I remember Mr. Uh, Bubble. 
Mr. Bubble. You remember um, Prell shampoo? Uh huh. Yeah. And you concentrate. Pearl in it. Yeah. No, Prell like, concentrate. Is that the one that? It came in a tube. All right. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. Yeah. Like toothpaste almost. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, don't mess. Yeah. I mean, a little, little bit. Yeah. Don't, don't mess up with the Prell. You put a big old, oh, dude, those spit. You'd be, you'd be trying to wash that stuff out your hair forever. Prell concentrate. See. Do you have to get an inspection tag in Texas? Uh, you 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 do. Um, ah, different rules, but um, it passed. I guess because it's uh, it wasn't in the, the the line of line of sight. I, yeah. I imagine. I, I don't know. You know, those inspections work. You send it there. And you cross your fingers. Hope they don't come back yeah. with. Yeah. The um, my check engine light's been on for a while, <laughs> uh, and it's some <laughs> some vacuum thing that doesn't do anything. But because I'm in Baton Rouge and we have to have the pollution stuff here um it won't pass inspection and i'm not spending two grand yeah oh geez to get it fixed so uh i, I bought an inspection tag yeah uh, on, the, on the on the yeah under the table Ah, <laughs> uh, you know that's gotta stay in yeah oh that's funny <laughs> I got something in the mail the other day and I showed it to Joey. I said, Hey, look, here's a nice picture of me speeding in Baker. Uh, Seriously? Yeah. Camera. Uh, camera and, they and they expect you to pay it. Yeah. I just throw those away. Well, that's the thing you work for yourself. And yeah, you know, I always tell people when you work for yourself and I've done that before, you're not taking a break from work. You're putting off work. Pretty, yeah, because the work's not going anywhere. Because when you're working, when you're working for for a company, someone else, it's sort of even right. though Somebody you back up. So and even you know, if you like it, and you just but part of it's like you know I, I deserve this time off. Yeah. Um, you know I am, that's their problem. I'm yeah. I'm I'm checked out. When it's not that, it's yeah, no, no, it's it's your problem. I I told that to people b before about, you know, going back five or five a little five years ago when I decided okay, let me just let me go try this let me go have fun doing doing, doing this um the hardest part is you don't have anybody to blame for anything right right <laughs> right, right. It's, you, you, it's you you just take for granted working for companies where something doesn't go right and you can just say that idiot yeah man if that else, fool if that you. fool would get up off yeah. of his butt and go do something yeah or if that and then you start so and then when you, you think that's something let me tell you what bob did yeah yeah and then you realize oh that fool's me now i'm yeah. the one that's gotta yeah. get up off my own but decades ago the i guess it was probably springtime and i had i was living in an apartment complex and had just the the gas grill that stayed out kind of in the in the little hallway that, oh yeah, yeah the, or the corridor or the right right whatever you want to call it uh and so you know i'm getting ready to grill so i'm burning you know trying to burn all the, the nastiness off of the, the grill itself as i slap the mic and everything else <laughs> moves um and so then I get to, yeah, all right, I'm gonna clean the whole grill while this thing is burning. So I'll wipe down the the, the, the pit itself. And then I said, ah, well, I'll clean off the, the propane bottle. And so I'm wiping it down. And all of a sudden I hear, Psss. and I said, what's that? <laughs> and then it's like, oh my gosh, it's leaking. Hip. No. So it blows. And <laughs> I realized, yeah, the, the hair on my arm is singeing my eyelashes and stuff. And the impressive part about it, as I'm running, I'm, I'm actually thinking, stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. I said, man, that still worked from third grade. And I didn't need to stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> <laughs> but then, so I run back into the apartment. And at this point, there's flames shooting out of the the. the the valve on the propane because the bot the the whole line has melted. So I run in. So wait, get, you got you got you got a propane and this is a just a, like a tank. Right, right. You it's know, not, you it, got the it, tank under. Yeah. But there's a lot of propane in there. You probably yeah, did that yeah. one. The uh, so it's yeah the, the basically the valve was open because I had it burning, but it it wasn't the hose wasn't tight. So there was a crack or the it leaked, which then blew it and the flames melted the line. So now it's like the bottle's wide open with flames shooting out of it. 
So I run in through the flames. You're a good neighbor. Yeah, yeah. And get the fire extinguisher. And so uh, only time in my life I've ever used a fire extinguisher. So I put it out, but it's in the breezeway. So now all the cars are parked right outside. I got, you know, probably like five cars filled with fire extinguisher chemicals now. So then I got to go wash everybody's car. And be, so I beach, almost it, catch the apartment complex on fire. It beats burning their place down, I guess. <laughs> But hey, did did you get the propane tank clean? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was. That's important. That's yeah, imp it's, that's it's, a, yeah. And anything that like any grease or anything that was on it burnt off. Take pride so, in that. <laughs> I uh, once and you know God God bless my dad. He was here in Texas for something we were doing, and uh, this is before we had some, some the stuff we built on the back of the house. It was just uh, just a flat wall, and I was grilling gas grill. And I don't know, I've gotten better over the years. You think back now, like, it's kind of funny. I guess I used to grill a lot, but I didn't, I did some dumb things. Not, not necessarily like what, not quite. Not that dumb. Not quite blowing myself up dumb. But um, I cooked a lot. I had a lot of people over. And I cooked a ton of burgers and I guess it was sausages and just stuff that did a lot of dripping. I mean, I cooked a lot of it. And then what I normally would do was when it was, you know, uh, you know, done, you just turn it up a little bit. Right, let it burn all that. Grease. Burn off, just you know, burn off. So I, I, I started doing that, and you know, my dad's outside, and he might be by himself or a couple of folks. I go inside, and I'm just, you know, I'm sweating. I'm, I'm just doing the feeding everybody. So I forgot I had the, the grill on outside, and I, I walk outside maybe ten minutes later, and I'm hoping that. It, it it didn't happen much longer than when I walk outside and my dad sitting in his chair, not moving, just says, Oh, Dave. And like, not to tell me, cause that was his thing is always like, he would, he'd say, Oh, Dave. And he didn't say anything until you responded. <laughs> oh, Dave. What? What? Um, you know, your, 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 your barbecue pit's burning. <laughs> now I hadn't even turned around to look. Uh, did it just start? Not Cause I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yeah, it's burning because I turned it up and I thought he was going to, I thought he was telling me that it was smoking. It's still on yeah, bro. Flames were shooting out the back of this thing. Like it looked like a, like a drag race or just bur onto the wall, like onto the bricks of my, cause it's right there. So I got a, I got a flamethrower just, <laughs> just burning the bricks and, 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 and I don't know how long. So I, Oh, and I don't know. I don't have a fire extinguisher. I forget how I got it, you know, got there, got it, got it turned off. But, uh, Oh, I mean, uh, black, like I had a big section on the, on the, um, uh, on the bricks in the back of my house. that was black. It took a lot forever to figure out how to get that stuff off. I mean, it was just, but, uh, <laughs> just like, just yeah, watching it, man. It's like I'm hanging, hanging out at my son's house. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good fire going on. <laughs> that boy, it's something about watching fire, making that fires boy, just that know. boy ain't right. It's, yeah, you might <laughs> you might want to you might want to go look at that before yeah, uh yeah, you're not trying to tell you what to do. You're an adult and everything. Right, you're an adult. Yeah, yeah it's uh, your house. It's, yeah. it's your it's your recipe. I don't know. You know maybe you got sure something to do this a lot, but <laughs> that's Usually not uh, well, how we do it, but um, okay. Time to call it, right? Um, Tonight. Or not. Today. Eh, wrap it up, whatever, whatever it is. But uh, is that time we push the button? See if any of this stuff stuck to tape. And uh, hopefully it did. If not, ah, well. Yeah, what you going? Yeah, watch a rerun. Do? Yeah, that's right. We're just, <laughs> if you're watching a rerun, it means none of this stuff recorded. <laughs> But, uh, hey, we love hearing from you. It's Dave and Juan at ProtonMail.com. Feel free to comment, ask questions. Uh, give us, you know, give us some rants to go on. We enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Just like yeah. yeah. The Check us out on Facebook uh, is where, you know, the links are. Uh, and on YouTube, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and catch this know. episode, obviously, and all of the other ones that we've done in the past. Subscribe and you'll get notified when a new one drops that's right and use our names and it's half price hey exactly half a free bubba half hey, free that would be but, free yeah that's right so hey i'm no mathematician but well you know that's why we do this uh for <laughs> for zero money 
It's funny. We talk about it's doing that. We're talking about like, yeah, man, I might have to take a week off. And it's like, what you making? I just said, we're just doing yeah. it for fun. And it is fun. And we enjoy doing this. And it's more fun when we when you're here. And we thank you for being here. And uh, we're thinking next Monday. Seven o'clock. We're going to shoot for it. But uh, yeah, let's see. Maybe from the right. beach. Who knows? All right. From the beach. All right. All right, buddy. Love you, man. See you, man. Peace.